First, we're going to look at lumped element uh, matching networks. And lumped elements are circuit elements like inductors and capacitors. Okay? And what we are going to, the goal will be to take some uh, arbitrary impedance ZL that can be anywhere on the Smith chart and we're going to bring it to the center of the Smith chart. We're going to bring it um, or translate this impedance using a net matching network to Z0 so that we can then um, tie it to a transmission line which also has an impedance Z0 and there won't be any reflections at this interface. Okay, so that will be our goal to look at ZL <coughs> uh, and, and transfer to Z0. Um, so the, the first one that we're going to try to do this with is using a uh, inductor. So, so one, uh, use inductor. Okay. Um, and all right, so let's say that we have um, some ZL and that uh, we are, and then we have an inductor here. And how can we, uh, how can we pick a value of, of the inductor such that um, the impedance looking after the inductor is Z0. Well, first of all, it probably seems suspicious to you that we can't pick an inductor value for any arbitrary impedance ZL. And that should be suspicious because we can't. There's only a certain kind of ZL that, that an inductor will match. Um, and so let's let's find what this ZL is. So what I'm going to do, I think, is I'm going to draw my Smith chart uh, over here. And then I'm going to Getting better drawing the Smith chart. I'm getting worse. Yeah. So this is our Smith chart. Um, now, if I have some impedance, ZL, somewhere on the Smith chart, and I add an inductance to it, then what, what does that do to my impedance? Let's say that my impedance is here. Um, let's say that my impedance is here. And that's ZL, okay? And, uh, and then I put an inductor in series with ZL. So how does that move my impedance? Rotates it clockwise on a constant R circle. Rotates it clockwise. So, so here, um, let's actually say that I'm right here. Um, what is my uh, impedance at this point? At this point, this is the R equals 0.5 circle. So this is 0.5. And this is my x equals minus 2 circle. So this is minus j2. So that's my impedance. Now, an inductor, uh, it, it's going to um, add a positive or a negative reactance. What's the impedance of an inductor? Positive. Plus j omega l, right? So when I'm adding a plus j omega l, I'm going to be adding a positive number to this, right? So which way am I going to be going? Yeah. 
I'm going to be going this way. Um, and, I'm, and this is my 0.5 circle, so I'm going to be staying on the 0.5 circle. And I'm going to be moving um, this way by some amount, depending on the reactance of the inductor. Now remember, my goal is to bring this point to the center of the Smith chart, right? So if, my, if I'm starting with a load impedance here, am I going to be able to use an inductor to bring it to the center? Right? It's just going to go around the circle. And actually, it will go, if I have an ideal inductor, um, then, and then if it's big enough or, the, or, or at a high enough frequency, uh, when omega L is huge, I'm going to bring it to an open. Right? Uh, but usually, we don't have ideal inductors, and there's, some, uh, there's a parasitic capacitance there. So you're going to actually resonate at this point, and then you're going to start to become capacitive again. But that's, that's for later. Um, OK, so where, where can my load impedance actually be so that I can use an inductor to match? What do you think? There's, there's, there's only a certain arc that's allowed for the load impedance. Um, such that I can use an inductor to bring it to the center. R equals to 1. Good, R equals to 1. And would X be positive or negative? Negative. Okay. Yes, so it's this part of the circle here, right? Um, so, <clears throat> so if I'm anywhere, if my ZL is anywhere here, and this is, uh, by the way, the, the 1 minus Jx circle. Uh, if, my, if my ZL is anywhere here, then I can use an inductor to match it. Um, and, and practically speaking, you will, in, our, in, uh, in IC circuits, radio frequency IC circuits up to 10 gigahertz, you will um, actually use an, a little inductor to match out a capacitance that you might see in a transistor, looking into the input of a, of a transistor. So a transistor circuit uh, may use may use a uh, a inductor here. And this would be the little matching network. Because looking into here, you might see something like, you know, 1 minus 2J, where this is normalized, or 50 minus 100J. Okay, and then you would add an inductor to bring it back to 1. So looking into here, you would just see 1, which is Z0. Okay, so, uh, so we're only allowed to be on that region of the Smith chart. All right, good. Now let's go to example. Any questions on that point?